Y'all, welcome back in for episode number five, which I believe is going to be the final episode, I think. If it is the final episode, I just want to prep you guys, this video is going to be long because there's a lot left to do, but I think we're going to get it done in one episode. So buckle up, buttercups, because we're about to find out who the origami killer is. Right now, going into where we're at in the story, I, I cannot believe it's us. I actually am going to, okay, I'm going to throw a Hail Mary and I think it is, mm, I still think it's the, I still think it's the shrink. I have no reason to believe that. I think it's either the shrink or somebody at the police station, you know, like somebody at the police station or the shrink. I wholeheartedly believe it is not ourselves, even an alter version, like a Mr. Jekyll or Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I don't think it's that kind of situation at all because, and I'm kind of relying on this to actually be the case, but when the clock guy was murdered, I know he was so sweet. <laughs> when he got murdered, there was no way that our character could have done it. So, or at least Ethan couldn't have done it. So my three top suspects are Madison. I know that's weird. Is it Madison? The M girl, the girl with the, is it Madison? I know I should know this, but it's been a couple days and you guys know I completely blank out on everything after a few days. <laughs> Her, because her, just her being in the story doesn't make sense. So it's either her, the shrink, or somebody in the police station. Yeah, I'm sticking to my guns with that. I think if I had to list it, I would say shrink number one, Madison number two, three, somebody in the police station. Let's find out. Guys, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you guys have enjoyed another fantastic game. And I'm super excited to share what I'm playing with you guys next at the end of this. So stay tuned for the very end if you want to find out what's next on the channel. All right. And hold on. Oh, back to our PI. He has really pretty eyes. Like, I, oh, I love green eyes, though. All right, Thursday, 4.30, 3.6 inches, 2.4 away, Scott Shelby. I want to look at the streets again now that we know that one of them's Roosevelt. I want to see how- So you think the origami killer killed Manfred? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. It's the only thing and I feel like could make sense. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. I want to look at the map. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Look at the, well, give me the Are view these of the files map. on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. I guess I'm Magazines just leaning up against about origami. You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? Hmm. If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Seriously? Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. It's so dark. Like, right. uh, I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Oh, that's is right. That's okay right. Is it okay if I take a shower? Yeah, she was left in the streets. I'll be my guest. Remember, she bedroom. ran out of the, the car and it was very dramatic. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, so we're going to make eggs. She's going to go shower. Uh, does she have dry clothes? Did we give her a spare towel? Oh, Lauren. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. I like her. I'll get started right away, so I'll be ready when she finishes her shower. Eggs don't take that long. The old days. Looks like someone else's life to me now. Hmm. Blake. Manfred. <sighs> Poor Manfred. We'd just been toast in the old days. No Didn't more Didn't bring days. him much luck. <gasps> That's vile. They just put the sandwich out with no wrapping or anything? Just there? Also, I like the chicken nuggets. Is he gonna put them, like... Oh, the frying pan. I saw the plate, so I was like... Alright, I am gonna judge how he makes these eggs. Hmm, he didn't spray anything on the pan, but it could be a non-stick pan. Let's not judge yet. He's making scrambled eggs. That's something I actually take a lot of pride in making. Okay. 
So you're not going to put anything else in there? No, like, milk or cheese or anything to make it fluffy? I don't do milk anymore. I used to do a little bit of milk, like, like a dab of it. But now I'll throw some cheese in there, some salt and pepper. Sometimes I'll throw some sriracha. Oh. Gotta make sure we shake it. And spin. And spin. And let it sit for a little bit longer. Do I need to grab a plate or anything? Oh my goodness, my cat hair has gotten everywhere. Well, I know when it's happened. Oh no, did it burn? I should be ready by now. Okay. Turn it off. I only scrambled once though. Oh, come on. Uh, let me make sure I'm sticking with this. Ugh. I don't know about that. I would have waited until she got out of the shower. I just feel like they're going to cool down too much. Um, oh gosh, I'm sorry guys. Give me one second. Hold on. Lauren! Oh, I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks hey, oversized on you. looks good enough to eat. <laughs> I know. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. Mm. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. And cross-reference it with the origami list. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except... Yep. And if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers mm -hmm, to Origami mm -hmm, Magazines. Mm -hmm. You still got that, right? But really? Like... Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. Yeah. Wait, eat your eggs. I worked hard on those bad boys. Come on. I'm so, yeah, she's brilliant. I actually really have liked how they If the killer really her. used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Unless he used false names. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. And also, are we sure? Why would His he have subscribed to someone? Help me. We're going to find him. How would we know he subscribed to a origami magazine? I guess there's, is there only one origami magazine? Or we could ask for the client list at the origami shop if he was buying them. But I do think he was making them himself. This is why it's on paper. If the files were on the computer, boom. She found something. Also, was she gonna put on clothes or no? Is that not the priority? Stupid. Who is it? Who? You know! The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure died he's dead? Died when he was 10? I know it doesn't make any sense. Jason's name. It has to be Jason's name. Unless the kid was <gasps> only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find that, out. The name is, is John that the Shepherd. Mom? It should be on a grave around here somewhere. John Shepard Joshua? Mm, no, okay, maybe not. You never give up, do you? Is that Joshua's grave? Is that woman Joshua's mom? It's cold. Joshua, it's John, John, Joshua. No, Joshua's definitely different. Soaked. Oh, how I love my job. It can't be. You wouldn't get Joshua from John. So it's somebody else. Somebody else. Something Shepard. Do we know a Shepard? <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. Was it no this one? No point in trying to reason with her. Irish plot. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. John Shepard. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here mm. I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. I also feel like, why is he being? Excuse me. Oh, why is he being so dismissive? I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who like died she about had a good years idea. ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Oh, thanks. She's convinced she's onto something, and here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Why? This has been a great idea. Some detective he is. Can't even see when he's being short-sighted. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. 
Do they put? Do they not put the children with the rest of their family? Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. The gr <laughs> chick. Let's ask. Wait, I see John Davis, Daryl Allen. Let's ask the grandmother, maybe. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for. Uh, well, don't worry about it. I can manage alone. I mean, you're bothering somebody while they're visiting. I, I mean, I can see it. I don't want to leave without finding it. I know we can find it. Children plot. Here we go. She's been looking for it, right? Theodore Brown. Wait a minute. Theodore Brown. Surely right. Hold on. Ralph Rivera. 1928. Mm. Jacqueline Robert. Dorothy Parker, 56. Andrea Green, 46. Elaine Sanchez. Hmm. Bernard Harris. Children plot. Like straight ahead? Yeah, I guess straight ahead. I can't ask her for help, can I? Italian plot. Children plot was straight ahead? Is it this one? Oh, okay, so it's just this whole one. There it is. I found it. Hmm. Flowers were just left here. To 1977, rest in peace. This was from years ago. This isn't the child, this isn't, yeah. But the flowers are fresh. These flowers are fresh. Yeah. An origami. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. And also the origami shape? Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. More than a coincidence. Lauren, my dear, you just might be oh, a genius. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. Oh. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Fall. He drowned, didn't he? Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlin. Get the hell out of here! God! Beat <gasps> it! You lousy, no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work! He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. Yeah, we're gonna if... get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Okay, so one of them, I'm thinking one of them has got to be um, uh, f Ethan. Maybe one of them is Ethan, and Ethan lost his brother, Joshua. But then, no. <sighs> or maybe it's... Um, Bitch, you can't catch me! Aww. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Oh, his voice! John's right. We what can't just doing? stand You're here all day. Might as well go and play. They're gonna catch a cold. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. And they live right by construction site. I feel like that's got to be important, where they grew up. Oh, maybe, okay, wait. Are they living on a construction site because maybe he's, I don't know, running the project or something? Or just playing here? Okay. Mm. The backstory. I don't recognize the last name, though. What was it? Jo uh, John something? John something. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think because as kids, like, we used to always go play around and do stupid stuff that totally could have gotten us killed. Not like, I know that sounds dramatic, but like, as a kid, like, you don't think about the dangers of any of the stuff, right? Like, you're just running around, having fun. You see a construction site? Like, I remember our neighborhood was being built up at the time, and we were like, just messing around and all the stuff that was not safe back then. Mm. Wait, 
wait, that's so much fun. Move your ass. They, I'm waiting. It's also funny. They dress like like a 30 or 40 year old, but they're Come kids. On. Oh, look at this. Watch your head. LBRB, LBRB. I told you oh, to watch your oh. head. <laughs> I didn't mean to. The leg out. The language. I didn't realize it meant like do back and forth. My poor noggin. Now I'm gonna drown because I knocked my head. Bitch can't do that. Oh, that's like fighting words right there. Oh gosh, you don't have to prove anything. Move your ass! I'm waiting. I'm guessing that's yeah, that's Josh, the one that's overzealous and demanding. Jeez, uh, you're nothing going but too a... fast. He never waits Jeez, for me. you're in nothing but a slowpoke. Well, we see who's starting to take after Dad. The construction site is empty. Makes for a great playground. Doesn't make... I mean, at least they're not... Getting to, like... Oh, this is cool. Poured on in the rain. Come on, loser! <sighs> the music building up is so intense. Has he called us by our name yet? Or does he just keep calling us Slowpoke and Loser and stuff like that? Oh my goodness. Monkey bars hit different when you're older. Not that this is a monkey bar, but like doing stuff like this when you're tiny. I, I felt like it was so much easier. Now I try to do a single pull up, but it feels like the weight of the world. Sick. This is not a jungle gym, though. That's the matter of the I fact. I think we're in down here. He's gone. Don't do that. Don't. Oh. How did they figure out that this was a slide? Oh. You don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. Oh, <laughs> the kid's VA is, okay, I'm gonna switch to, okay, there we go. Hold on, I'm missing because, I'm missing because I'm having to do, <sighs> okay. That, then do that, then do that. If I have to do like, play, I don't have to do, any buttons. This is so foolish. Um. John, wait for me! Get a move on! Yeah, he never calls us by our name. No way, I'm scared. It's as easy as pie. <gasps> move your ass, I'm waiting! If he says that one more time, Every time I do these, it reminds me of Last of Us 2 with Abby. Oh! Mm. Nice! Come on, it's your turn! This is a long segment for what? To find out that my brother got himself killed. Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that. Back up, hold down, and then we're gonna release. Release. It's time for the jump of death. Okay, he made it. He made it. I can do it. Oh no. Oh wait, I can just go down this way. I'm just gonna go down the safe route. Oh no, I have to look down first. That's such a far... I'm getting tunnel vision. Oh, 
Oops, sorry. I gotta hold it down. <laughs> How many times can I fail these? And release. Oh. I still feel like that'd be so hard to smack your knees on. Hide and seek. You go and count to twenty no. and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, whoa, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. The way that they've done this. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Is it trying to see if you'll cheat? Seventeen. Eighteen. Yeah, I think it's trying to see if you cheat it. Nineteen. Twenty. I don't. Oh. What? Oh my gosh. Where is he? Where? Where did he go? Wait, I didn't I see him right there? Yes, he's right there. Oh my gosh. My foot. My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it out there. Oh. Um. <sighs> Oh, I f crap! It ain't gonna work. No. What are we gonna do? How? How did he hang get stuck on, here? Yeah, he I'm, went to hide I'm, in the water. I'm gonna help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. How can it be rising? Isn't it all like flowing but, down? The poor kid never what? did find any help. His dad. His brother drowned in that pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. Went into the system? I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. We need to find out who this is. I guess I better be getting home. Uh, sir, there's been a storm the last couple days. This is not... <laughs> Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? All signs. Come on, let's get back in the car. All signs point to yes. I think there's a couple things going on here. Um, I think after that scene, it's just kind of abundantly clear to me that they... I, it's cool to start with Detroit Become Human and then go back to Heavy Rain because you get to see just how much they've um, developed their ability to capture serious moments. And in Heavy Rain, it misses the mark on a lot of them. Now, there are some that they really do give that feeling of being in it but then they're also i feel like they're always in relation to this pi i feel like the pi's scenes are often like very um just like poorly executed like that whole scene with him you spend way too much time climbing up and everything all to play hide and seek and then that part gets rushed like the build-up was so long and then the part where you find out that his brother drowns doesn't really even make sense and it also feels like it gets like played down way too much and then this guy still being like, I don't know, it might not be. We'll see. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? His brother, who's alive, who's the origami killer, who's killing other boys because he lost his own brother. But there has to be a trigger. Like, there's got to be a reason why he picked up, because he's <laughs> only been doing this for two years. There she goes again. Surprising me. Hmm. I don't usually like surprises. And then I'm trying to figure out, is the game trying to ship these two together? Wait. What's the matter? Oh. That man over there. 
That's... Yeah? <gasps> no. <gasps> His brother? Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Oh, 30 years ago. His age would make sense. <gasps> He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. His brother was John Shepard. <gasps> but, so it's somebody who's related to him. It couldn't really be his son. Do not tell me they did that to us. Wait, wait, but it couldn't be, it couldn't be him doing it. Unless it is him doing it and maybe it's him doing it and his son is taking the... No, I, I don't know. How could that be? It's just something about it feels off. I can't believe that it would be his son or him. They just were so, like, not a part of the first half of the game. But I guess they'd have the resources to do half the stuff that the origami killer's done. Paco Mendez. It's not a Quantic Dream He's game without a club. the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. And dancers. I better be careful. He might be the killer. All right, we're looking for Paco. Bartender. I don't know where I can find Paco. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death, I better watch my The step. neon lights. Wow. Paco Mendez, the guy the doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I could ask him a few questions. Mm -hmm. Ta -da -da. I have nothing against techno trance whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. I agree. I agree. I'm for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Why? Mr. Mendez has asked not to be disturbed. The zebra coat. Oh no. Not the zebra coat. Sorry, lady. Invited guests only. We have to get his attention, of course. Play school for the jet set. Naturally. Really my kind of hangout. We need to jump up here and dance. It's the only thing that makes sense. We've seen it in a million movies. It's time to catch his attention. Are we seeing him notice a girl, and then he's gonna invite her over? Yep, yep, yep. She's getting invited. Okay, we need to go walk up on that. Get away from me. All right, let's stand up on here. Oh, I can't. What? Paco seems to like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not supposed to be... Dance. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff. Yes, by. yes. I'm trying to strap my stuff. Get it, Madison. Is it Madison? I'm still... Oh, 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 oh. This uh, would be so like me trying to dance. <laughs> he hasn't even looked my way. All right, let me do it. Let me kill it. One more time. Third time's the charm. Guys, I'm not a dancer. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's the pencil skirt. It's the, I'm, oh, 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 oh. That wasn't enough to catch his attention. <laughs> She's trying to have like a DDR moment. I feel like Cloud did it better, you know? It's tripping me up with X because of using the PlayStation controller and now I'm not using it. He's not noticing. Do one more time. Okay, here we go. Cause all I ever wanted was to see you smiling and all I ever wanted. It's not working. We're gonna need another idea. Plan. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if mm. I wanna talk to Paco. Maybe I should go ahead to the Gotta bar. Find some place to change. Oh, I need a different outfit. Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. I see. 
Gonna have to think of something else. Okay, so we need to change somewhere. Maybe upstairs? What's upstairs? I guess it's time to sexy up my performance. All I need is a good place to change. Restroom. Of course. The restroom. Is it's this private. the bathroom? Girls only. It's that big red cube near the entrance. Oh. What is that? Radical oh, maybe we'll minus. go down there or we'll go up there with him after and that's when we'll be able to question him. Of course. The restroom. It's private. Girls only. It's that big red cube near the entrance. And I saw the sign, that's right. So like misty in here and I don't know, I just feel like I'd get hit with one of the lasers in my eye and just like get blinded. Can you tell I'm not a club person? <laughs> I'm more of a like, go to a nice, nice little like cowboy bar or something. I don't know if you can put nice and cowboy bar next to one another, but. Right, right, all right. How am I supposed to change into something sexy? Do I have other clothes? Am I just gonna wear my bra? Oh, I love the sink. The sink looks just like uh, the other sink. Time to play the sexy girl. Oh, this transformation. Did anything change? Okay, I think her hair looks genuinely the same, but that's okay. Nothing changed. No, 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 head back. I haven't done anything. I'm only getting started. Reapply some lipstick. Oh, eyeliner. Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't like that it shows that. Oh. All right, slowly before I poke my eye out. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. If her mouth's not open, that's fake. If she's trying to... Ah. <laughs> All right, and then let's top it off by lowering. I can't imagine what I need to do to make this sexier. Okay. And what is that? Oh, lipstick. <laughs> I love this like <laughs> getting sexy in the bathroom scene here. Oh, sorry, did I bite it? I wish you could actually see like a change. Like I do feel like, okay, maybe we are seeing a little bit of a change. Doesn't look that different. And my, I sh the mascara doesn't look any different. What else we got, blush? Oh. <gasps> She's like, why'd you pick that up? Am I doing a rip in it? Right. Yeah, the pencil skirt was not the move. This scene. I guess that probably is a style, is the ripped up skirt. I mean, Lord knows now you pay more for clothes with less fabric than anything else. Okay. It's just the top. I don't think that top can be sexy. I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> the collar, short sleeve collar that's killing me. <laughs> Let's try this again. Now things will be different because I have a shorter skirt and a deeper neckline. Oh, she is dancing differently. All right, the shot. All of a sudden, I can dance now, too? Oh my gosh, this is actually difficult, guys. This is so difficult! That one? He's like, that one? 
Oh, the other girl got kicked hey, out. Hey, you! Grab my purse. Grab your purse. Yeah. Okay. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. He's gonna be hey, so sleazy. Thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? His V-neck is deeper than mine. I'm Madison. Oh. I like the way you move, Madison. You make me all hot under the collar. <laughs> Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> It's the zebra. It's the zebra for me. This guy is truly revolting. Ugh. Gosh, he's... He's running up there. Everything is gonna be all right. I have a plan. And he didn't exactly even, like, what I'm doing. escort me up there. Just follow him to his office. This is no time to get squeamish. Even Not if after I do <laughs> feel like they're about to give away. Okay, well, I did ruin a skirt for this, so we better make this worth it. Just follow him to his office. <laughs> All right. Those jackets crack me up where it has the belt on it, too. Okay. Hold on. Let's do this. I mean, after the last situation with that disgusting and vile in. old I doctor. The gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. How much worse can it get? Be all right. Everything is going to be all right. You got this, Madison. So, welcome to my little kid. He totally has zebra. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Saw that a mile away. Ew, why is the light? I'll take that. Oh. Just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. Your idea of putting so, on music to get into the mood of? what you can do. Is hearing other people moan? Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off, baby. Leave, speak, speak. I'm sorry. Um, no, 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 I, no I drink. There's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood. I should ask for a drink. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. She's gonna kill I me over there? Never, they never for an answer. See, going back to this, why is Madison willingly putting herself in this situation? Not this one, but like, why do we care so much about Ethan? How did I? I woke up today with just having sleep demons. Lamp. Bedtime idea. Idea. Think of something. There's got to be some way out of here. Disgust attack. Lamp. Time. Lamp. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Uh, do a oh, dance. I know. Dance. Okay. The wink, Madison. Oh, she's so smart. Baby sweet cakes. You got it going on down below. To be fair. Oh! Sorry. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay, didn't like that last bit, but maybe we should just grab the gun. Yeah. She got okay. taped up. Act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Lover Boy. I don't like the you go girl. It's giving uh, Shania Twain. Let's go girls. Oh. 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 Wake Wicked. up time. I hope I didn't whack him too hard. Oh. Lovely. Yeah. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? 
I like hand on the hip. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. Mm. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do... Ugh! Yep. You fucking bitch. I'm going to kill you. You make it too easy. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. Shoot him in the foot. But you're going to know balls when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? Open up. Busy. <laughs> Knowing the guards that he probably has, he'd probably stand there and listen. His face! <laughs> If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Sure. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Is he wearing leather Stop pants? Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Oh. Ah. Ah. I never set foot in that apartment. So why do you have it? He the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. Hmm? What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear! Oh, ah! She's about to give him a prostate exam next. RT. I don't know if I can hit that. Ah! I'm using all. Shepard! His name is John, John Shepard. Shepard. That's all I know, I swear it! Okay, same name. Oh. So we're all getting to the same conclusions, just there, different ways to get it. that wasn't so hard, was it? Ooh. I really appreciate this romantic moment. Kill him. But I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. I, I feel like she could have done a lot worse to him, so I'm proud of her. Although, don't we think that he's going to go after us? I don't know. It feels risky to just leave him. Should have done something to make sure he'd never come after us. Time to get out of here. <laughs> I've got a massive headache. Investigation. The name he gave me. John Shepard. Jane Shepard. Did that be the name of the killer? Wait a minute. Find out. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> I would say so. Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. Actually, that is a good way to give him, like, fear of taking anybody out there. That. You didn't do too badly, Matt. Did you, girl? Madison sure knows how to get what she wants. But now I've ruined another skirt, all for that douche. The way she just walks out of the club and we're done with the club scene, that was actually pretty well done. <laughs> it does give me, like, it is funny how just once again, you've got this like, oh, we're going to the club too? Oh yeah, because we found something that led us to Paco as well. I'm here to see Paco. Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Really? Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. He's got to still be tied up. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, he's untied. Oh, you. See? I'm scared. I gotta hear you. The guy. Breathe. The guy. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. Go faster. Or whatever that shit is, he's beginning to draw attention. He's gonna kill Paco. Loose strings, loose lip sync ships. I know, you get me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Do everything you ask. I think my debt to you is pain. He's gonna kill him. Hey, yeah. Don't, don't fuck around, man. No, no. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't kill me. What a scene. The no. Is there a way out, though? Like, once you get to the back office, is there a way for him to even get out? No time to waste. Gotta find Paco. I guess with the loud music, you wouldn't hear if somebody pulled the trigger. Oh my gosh. Somebody that could keep him out of prison. 
somebody with power. So that would leave either somebody within the police academy or the police station or I know he's dead in there. Hold on. That means either somebody in the police department, if they kept him out of prison or somebody who can pull strings that has a lot of money, such as John's living brother. Oh, you know what it is. You've seen a dead body before. Don't act silly, Jaden. Let's find the clues. He looked like the perfect, like, it was giving L.A. Noir with the way that he looked with his fedora and his trench coat and everything. <gasps> oh! 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 I'm missing it. I'm missing it because I... He's a big man. That's a big man. Oh. 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 Jaden, don't die on me! Jaden just keeps getting worse and worse situations. Oh! Sword? 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 Ah! Oh! Oh! I feel like I could die at any one of these. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh! I'm having trouble seeing the prompts. Oh shoot. Oh! Not the fish! Not the fish! Murderer! Murderer! <laughs> Come on, Jaden! He's leaving. He's leaving. Oh! Also, where's his gun? Why didn't he just execute him? Not the fish! Get up, Bambi! Save the fish! I'm not gonna be able to get him. He's gone. You've gotta be kidding me. I left my glasses. My glasses. I'll question. Oh, I should. Hold on, let me question him first. Uh, what? I'm just glad I didn't die. Did Paco know the guy came to see him? Sorry, I don't speak cop. Watch my lips, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? Yes. John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. Always let him straight up. All right, let's go get our glasses back and look at the scene. There was definitely no fingerprints or anything like that, but there's gotta be something that indicates, stop. Yeah. I feel like our poor Jaden can't catch a break and I'm holding my breath every single time because I want all the characters to stay alive. The fish. Not the fish. You know, okay, I know I'm the, I'm now the annoying person that says everything reminds me of Detroit Become Human, but remember the fish at the very beginning with Connor? <laughs> the fish tank. All right, let's throw them on and figure out what's going on here. It might lead me to Madison as well, because her fingerprints should be somewhere around here. All right, we've got so many different things. First things first. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Nice. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Mm. Okay, we'll look at that evidence later. Just gather the evidence and we'll go from there. What's that? Paper? The killer was looking for something. The killer was looking for something. What would this guy have had? Maybe the keys to the... Mm. Oh, what kind of gun is it? You can see who's registered with that. 45 caliber. Okay, not the easiest thing to identify. Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. <laughs> Manager of the Blue Lagoon nightclub. Confidence trickster? What did that say? Those are Paco's fingerprints. The bottle should be Paco's as well. Yeah, Paco Mendez. Mm. We can go look at the lamp, though. 
And that will give us... Let's check out his body. Oh. A bullet right between the eyes. Instant death. Worst ways to go, considering he had a... Since he had a sword that he could have, like, whopped his head off with. The Madison team. Page. What was a journalist doing here? She's a journalist? Mmm. That explains who she called to get the information. She's doing this because this could be her biggest, this could be her break, basically. It's got to be. Orchid pheromones. Yeah. The fucking origami killer. That was him. He was in our grasp. Oh, the fish. That's somebody else's bullet, though. Hold on. Madison Page? She may be a witness. Well, what is that, though? That's not a bullet casing, so what is that? Oh, lipstick. Ah, it's got to be her lipstick that popped out of the... Does his coffee table spell something? Hard? We have a coffee table that spells hard? What a tool. There's two guns here, yeah. Oh, that must have been mine. Gotcha. All right, so we saw... Did we see this one? Hmm... Oh, we already saw Madison Page's fingerprints. This we could deduce is a struggle between her and Paco. 1984. And we have our address. Anything else in this area? The fish. I think that's pretty much it. Let me just walk around all of the different pieces. Mm, there'd be no fingerprints of his. What was he looking for? Okay, I think that's it. We can follow the orchid pheromones? Maybe? Right? Wouldn't it have? If we kept them on, couldn't we follow the scent? If it's that thick, that we could... <sighs> I feel like we should have investigated that further. Stop. Don't move. Starting to enjoy it more. Trip two. Oh, got the shakes. Nope. The nope. 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 Gotta get back to the hotel fast. Conclusion. Oh, shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. Thoughts, body, body. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. Should we not? On the right track, do you think? Should we not tell the bodyguard that his boss is dead inside? Hako knew the killer. That's why he was killed. Here we go. I'm enjoying this so much because each of our protagonists find it in a different route. So it's showing you also that there... I think it's also showing you that there's there's many different ways to get to the same conclusion. All in due time. Yes, good, good. Ethan. Okay. Our last challenge, right? What has Ethan been up to? Oh, look at his smile. I just want to help him be a dad again. Wait, that sounds really bad when I put it like that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like I want him to be a good dad to his already, already children. His lat, well, I guess Sean, just Sean at this point. Now we know why Madison is invested in us. My fingy. I could have not lopped off my finger. I, I could have been fine since I didn't have to kill the guy. All right, I didn't kill the guy. Ethan. Are you all right? I couldn't do it. I was supposed to kill him to save Sean. And I couldn't do it. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. Mm -hmm. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. Wait, that what? That changes nothing. How can she prove? Saving Sean is all that matters now. Uh, what? What? Go on and kiss the girl. 
I need some sense of just happiness for a second, even if it's fleeting, even if it doesn't make sense, and it's just because the plot wants some kind of romance in there. It doesn't make sense, but I just need something for myself. It's been so long. Plus, I feel like, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, though. I almost wish I had put don't kiss, because watching them kiss is almost more painful. <laughs> like two wrongs equaling a right. You guys thought I wouldn't kiss. You guys thought I hate love, so I was going to say no. But I told you guys there was a part of me like earlier on that was like, okay, maybe they'll, maybe they'll find Sean and then maybe this will be a new beginning for him. <laughs> the bandage there was hilarious. It's the finger for me. It's the missing finger. <laughs> what is she doing with her mouth? It's like so awkward to watch, not because of the scene itself, but because of... It's just how it began to begin. Everything about their story just feels weird. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to complete the job. Guys, my controller. Hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. And then Q. Wait, is that Q? Where's Q? There we go. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm having performance anxiety like so many guys when they're doing this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I understand, guys. I now understand how difficult it is. <laughs> I'm kind of amazed by the depth of this interaction. It's been years since we've seen his cheeks, to be fair. Okay, I think we're done interacting. I feel like his burn would still be hurting. Like every time her chest rubbed up against his chest, would that not like, maybe he's not feeling it. He's probably thinking of other things, fair enough. The dramatic piano music in the background. Also, I think she left the door open. I do want to say I'm pretty sure she left the door open. But... I couldn't do it. I couldn't kill this person. And she's like, that's the most romantic thing ever. I know you've chopped off your finger. You didn't explain why. You have burn marks on you and you have so many cuts. Where is his cuts on his knees? Where are the cuts on his knees? But it's so cute. I need, <laughs> I need to sleep with you. Don't wake her up. You know what though? Good for, good for Madison, good for Ethan. We found love in a hopeless world, is it? I can either lie back down or I can get back up. I wish she could come with us for this next portion, but we have one more origami piece left. Let me get some water after that. <gasps> Look, he just looks happier. He looks rejuvenated. He looks, I don't know, his skin looks really clear too. <gasps> I can't take a post pee. Let's wash our face. Wash her face, do the origami, get dressed and leave her. Maybe leave her a note and maybe like a snack. Bring her like a Cheetos bag. Doesn't he look like a lot younger all of a sudden? Maybe that's just in my head. Hmm. I do think that there's something like, I, I know I'm like joking a lot through it and everything, but I do think that there's something about, it's easy to like, look aside and be like how could they think about this right now when they're in the middle of 
like his his child is missing you know she's doing her journalistic stuff and everything and after she had just gone through that situation with two two other guys and i think there is something about like it's almost this like numbing oh i need my clothes it's like finding just an ounce of warmth in a really dark time and sometimes that's just all that makes sense in that moment I should, like, put some blankets over her. <laughs> the cargo pants. Let's see if we can even do the next piece. Oh, it was. I was, for a second, I was wondering why we even were following along with these. If they were just giving us clips of our son, but that's not true. They were giving us pieces of his mousetrap pieces of the last letters 961 rainbow lane yeah he was giving us the letters for the address i still stand by thinking that we have she's enough. the only person i can trust but now i have to be alone to do what i have to do really? things might have worked out between us if circumstances had been different i'm already thinking of ditching her only one more origami figure then i find my son but I didn't get the letters for the last time. I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. Oh. Can we at least put her blanket on her? No. Okay. All right, fine. My jacket has seen some days. Wait, what's the... Um... There's something I can interact with. Hold on. Oh, my coat, my coat. Oh, <gasps> we're going to find out that she's a journalist. <gasps> we're going to feel used and betrayed and truly alone. She was the one person we could trust. <gasps> Wait, she was following us all along. I didn't realize she followed us to the power plant and some things like that. Her notes. Drowned. I should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Oh, I could have just left in the night. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you going to write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it. Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison. All this time, you fucking lied to me. All this time, it's I only been a couple days. You, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. We should just leave. What is she grabbing the bottle? Is she scared of us? It's true. Okay. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared and and I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. You don't know. And and I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... that you... may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I fell in love with you over these past couple days. This is my second chance. Don't take this from me. Don't look at me like that. We can rebuild I'm it. Sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. She is the only one that believes in us, too. I'm such a sap. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. 
The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. But I didn't get the letters from- Take care, Ethan. What? I can't lose you now. <laughs> this whole scene is so dramatic. Everything in this last bit. I will say that I'm, I'm almost feeling like these last couple chapters are feeling too rushed. Like now that they've shown that we have more of the idea of who I'm the killer is. something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. You know I'm not gonna wait for you, babe. I did decide to forgive her because I think at the end of the day, like she does have real feelings for us. So I did want to forgive her there because I also think that Ethan deserves to be with somebody that understands and who better to understand what you've gone through than somebody who's there along the way for it. Obviously she didn't crawl through all that glass with me, but I think she wants to understand. And I think that that would be something that would be really hard to explain to somebody down the line if he ever got back into dating or even his ex-wife. And I think that, yeah, that seems like I'm saying like it's done with my ex-wife, but I do think that there's so much brokenness there that could never be fixed. And I feel like I see a new opportunity with Madison. Like, I feel like I can tell like she really cares about him, but then that by itself just feels weird because it's only been a couple days. It's always a strange thing when you're playing a game because there is a lot of time to have a plot kind of unravel, but, or at least be like laid out. But at the same time, I feel like everything's going too fast now and it doesn't make sense. Like the beginning parts, I was really like captured by and I was like, okay, this makes sense. Okay. All right. This happened, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then right as soon as all of our characters have found out that it's John's brother, John drowned in 77, everybody's figured that out. And now I feel like everything's going way too fast and the plot isn't able to keep up or the characters aren't keeping up with the storyline. Like now the inconsistencies are happening. I'm in love. I am. Um, I think I'm starting to fall in love. What? We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be uh, able to help him now that he knows who I am. Now we gotta find his son. And now, I think I know where to start looking. You do? I'm not gonna put regret. I don't regret what I did. Okay, fine. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. It's... I don't... I don't... I don't know about this whole thing. He's gonna be gone when I get back. <gasps> Snacks. Tims. They call me... Team. Oh, I guess the diner is closed, isn't it? They should really have one of these on every single thing. Oh. Oh! <gasps> no. The cops. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. I gotta go. The phone. Oh, I can call him. I can call him, yeah. Run, 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 Madison, Madison, Madison. Don't talk to me, I need to use your phone. What's going on? Isn't this great? Like being in a TV show. Who'd have thought it? The origami killer renting a room here. He registered under a false name. I should've went straight for the phone. But I recognized his face. So weird. So, so weird. Oh, Come maybe we're going to run what from was him? the damn number? Uh, 207. Come on. Come on. I think. Pick up the phone. Yes, 207. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Okay, now we're going to switch to him and we're going to have to escape. Evade. No, wait, they're not gonna shoot me. He's still on the move! Get oh. him! He's making a run for it! He's oh. on the balcony! Come on, Ethan, come on. We know you're not the killer. Oh. This guy. Whoa! Sorry! I gotta run. Oh my gosh. 
I shoot. I should have known. I should have known. I'm going down. I'm going down. Nope. Not the right way. Up on the roof. Up on the roof. Up on the roof. <sighs> Gandalf's eagles! Pick me up! Don't move! Pick me up! <laughs> Oh, nice. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Okay, that's gonna take them a second. Oh! Oh! Ah! Come on, come on, come on. You got this? Jump. Oh my gosh, there's no way that they wouldn't shoot though. I feel like they would definitely have like shoot, not on sight, but on run. But I guess they need to be able to investigate him to save the kids so they can't shoot him yet. Ah! Please, stop! Wait, why is he tripping on the other one? Oh gosh. What a, <laughs> a time. I wasted time by by trying to go down. Ethan, you've done worse. So on your knees, hands behind your head. Easy pal. Nowhere to go. You're surrounded. <laughs> Uh, surrender, jump, gonna... jump. Holy fuck! Oh! Oh! Why did I have to jump backwards like that? I could have done a lot of other things. <laughs> I have nothing left to lose. My kid's life is on the line. Am I gonna surrender? What do you think? Oh no. This ta- Oh! Oh! This taxi is not gonna help us. Take his car. Get out of the car. Ah, you, taxi. Oh. Hey, what's the matter with you? 3v34. Whoa! Peace. That was on them. That was poorly executed by the cops. The guy sitting in the road behind him. <laughs> How many people surrendered there? I wish you could see the stats. I want to see the stats for each part. I like that they added that for each ending in Detroit. Ugh. Thursday, 11.43 p.m. 4.48 inches. We need to figure out exactly what motive could what's-his-name have had. Somebody's been in my room. Oh. Oh. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. <gasps> I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. Did she turn me in? You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. <laughs> Was she working You'll for no him? Choice. Your investigation is <gasps> over. For good. <gasps> Did... She betrayed us? Oh my goodness. Oh, Shelby. I'm tired of being stuck in cars. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. It wasn't, okay, it, she didn't turn us in. Shit. Uh, this is not good. Oh, shoot. Okay, wiggle out, wiggle out, wiggle out, wiggle out, wiggle out, wiggle out, wiggle out. Okay, wiggle out, wiggle out. The glass is breaking. Okay, what can we do here? I'm gonna remain calm because I normally am panicking in this situation, so I'm remaining calm. Damn fool. Nothing's gonna work if I don't switch on that ignition. Nice. Okay, glass, cut it. Nice, cut, 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 cut. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh no! Oh no, oh, god damn it! I hate the I shouldn't let out I think I said that out loud. I shouldn't be letting no. any air out. Oh no no no, okay, the the water isn't in the, the car yet. Wouldn't the car be filling with water? Okay, as soon as I I need to look this way and help her because as soon as Yeah, as soon as Shoot, don't break that glass. If I break that glass, oh no, the water's gonna fill. I think I should free her first, but it's okay. Yep, that's not good. That's not good. I think I did the one thing I shouldn't have done. I, I, oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, Lauren, oh. 
Okay, if I get air. Left Lauren for dead. I'm a savage. Bastard. I'm gonna kill you. Oh. <gasps> okay, the one thing I thought I wasn't supposed to do, and I proceeded to do it. I thought that that was gonna help her get out. Oh my god. <gasps> I don't know what about kicking the. I, no, don't start with me. Also, why didn't he try to take her? It's not like she was tied. She wasn't tied in there. She wasn't tied. That's confusing to me, too, because I don't think she was. She wasn't tied to a wheel like I was. So why didn't we grab her body and bring her? I think I'm just kind of confused by that to begin with. Could I have saved her? Probably. But that's like, that's really, oh, that bothers me. I know, don't look at me like that. Look, it was too much too much to think that I could get out with like zero deaths. But I also was confused because she says I'm sorry. As if, was she sorry because she had called them or she was working with them? But then why was she in the car? I think the truth of the matter is she was in there and then she was like, hey, I'm sorry, I should have warned you. And she didn't warn him. And then they were able to take her. But, oh, okay, hold on. I gotta run to the bathroom. I cannot believe I got her killed. I, I should have helped her. It wasn't me. Every woman for themselves. I actually thought Lauren was better than him at the investigation stuff. You know? I really did. No. Oh my. Ooh. Yep. Also, they just wasted a perfectly good car underwater like that. It's kind of messed up. Oh no, this is getting intense. I do, uh, this is gonna ruin me. Okay, that's two, that's three, actually. That's three bullets. Five. Six. Is it an extended mag? Nope. <gasps> How did I say just I was just ready for that? Freaking CQC. I even reloaded once. Extended mag or not, that's not. I guess you're supposed to assume he just reloads without you. I love the bullet shot that throws the guy into the window. Look here, daddy's boy. Where are you? Stay back! Don't come near me, or I'll shoot! The sun, the sun. Asshole. This isn't gonna... Please, don't hurt me! Can I choose not to? I'm just trying to see if I can choose not to. I can't, I have to. Oh! Bastard, Lauren is dead. You fucking killed her. Stop. Oh, I bet if, I bet this seems different if Lauren's not dead, but also, Yes, he killed her, but also we actively killed her, too, by not saving her. So that is a little... It's a complicated situation. He's not wrong. He's not right. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! So who is? Oh. Oh. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. He knows no. who the killer is. No, he has please. to know. Don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Oh. Oh. The saber tooth tiger. Stop. Stop. I'll oh, take you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Tell me. Uh, Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to to be, be like, like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. So there's two. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. So Gordy is... Not no the... No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. Just street trash, like so many others. Ugh. You disgusting pile of shit. Also, that's ironic, considering his brother and him were from the streets, too. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? Oh. I own the construction site. Never mind. Died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers his on his brother. grave for 30 years. If it's not his brother... If he is not the brother... John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I guess he would have been too old. I don't know. Okay, I guess he would have been too old, but still. 77, they would have been 10. That would put him, if this was 2010, that would put him in his 40s, right? Around 40s, 50s. Yeah, this guy's clearly like 60s. I should have seen that. He was adopted, I think. His mother. <sighs> his mother should know. His mother. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. Did they have to put their child up for adoption, or...? That girl, Lauren, she was just a whore. You'll forget her in no time. Come and work for me, Shelby. I'll pay you well. You'll be able to have all the girls you want. Never say her name again. You hear me? Never. I know. I miss Lauren already. She was so much more. He's going to try to shoot us. My heart? My heart? My heart! I need my pills. In that draw. There. I might have just slaughtered like 20 of his guards, but I'm not going to stand by and let somebody die. Not when I can help them. No matter what he's done, there's something like it, it's complicated too, because he was leaving flowers on a kid who died at his construction site. That's weird too, at the same time. Like he's not. It's complicated. It's not simply he's bad or good. You, you saved my life. And you I already regret mine. it. <laughs> Walks past the 20 other people that we slaughtered. That's fine. We went in there like... <laughs> wow. I feel so bad. I should have worked harder to save Lauren. I don't know why I kept kicking it. Because the crazy part is like, I looked over. I knew that if I kicked in this glass, then she would drown. But I guess part of me really thought that I could just pull her with me. Why? I don't understand why I couldn't have just pulled her with me. She wasn't tied down to something in the car. She just had her hands tied so she couldn't swim. We got to meet with him. Where is this? Oh, the hospital? Pediatrics? No. Hospital? Wait. What is this? Psychiatric? Oh, John Shepard, Sean. Only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Hope I'm not wasting my time. John, John Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Yeah, so he would have been 40. Hello, I'm looking for Ann Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. What people do we know in the story that's around 40? Ethan, for one. We do know Ethan is. We know Ethan is. We know... Some people in the police academy, perhaps? Perry? No, Perry's older than 40. Maybe the, the asshole cop, but... He's too obvious. Somebody else who's in their 40s. I don't know. The shrink. <laughs> Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. Oh. No one ever comes to see her. 
with the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Mm. She has Alzheimer's. Room. Room 19. Where is that? Room 19, reception. Let's look at the drinks. Nobody comes to visit her, like not even her own. Wait, I want to see the snacks. Not even her son that, well, if he was adopted, then he might not remember, he might not know. Nacho queso. I like the hot ofs, hot ofs. Room nine, there's 10. There's nine. Wait. Room 19. Oh, 19. Where is that? Orchids. Huh. Room 19. Nurse, 17. What is that, 18? All right, one more down. Hmm, is she outside of her room? Yeah, because this is a hall. Or it could be back there, but I feel like that's her. Was she the old woman at the grave? There was an old woman at it. The, that woman looks exactly, I think they just used the same model because that's not her. Um, but that looks exactly like the same woman that was at the grave. All right, there's the door. I think it's back here. It's just confusing me because mm, this should be 19. Yeah. The mother's name is Anne. The injections. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. Oh. The other hospital, they were always on time. But here... Introduce yourself. My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I wouldn't have started with that. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Maybe I can get her a snack? John, foster family, John's brother, second son, John. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Carnaby Square. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Oh. The Alzheimer's. John's brother. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Mm -hmm. Carnaby Square. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. I'm trying to sit on the bed. Do you remember? There. There is. Carnaby Square. <sighs> I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Son guilty. What's the other ones? Oh. Hmm. Name. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. Flowers? Flowers? You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Orchids? Ah. Uh... So she has a vase, but no flowers. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Her locket. Can I not flip it up upside down and see? 
there nothing okay maybe that can prompt another question Killer. this woman might be the origami killer's mother mm. must be some way to get her to remember okay that could work all right no point in wasting my time i won't learn anything more by staying here that's not true origami Let's flip through and find... Let's find how to make... Well, yes, 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 yes. We need to make... It, maybe if we... Maybe if we give her um, what he keeps making. Like, you know how the origami killer keeps making the one thing? Maybe if we find that symbol and we make it? But not this. Not this one. I mean, I'll make this one, but I think we need to make the cat in order to spark her memory. Okay. This is 100% the origami's killer. But nobody comes to visit her? I love origami. But that's not the my cat. favorite one. The cat is her favorite one. And that's why he leaves that. But that doesn't honor his mother. If in a way, it's, it's honestly, it's not a dog. It's kind of, wait, it's been a dog this whole time? I thought it was a cat. I guess it has been a dog this whole time. <laughs> it's kind of twisted that he leaves his mother's favorite origami piece on all the children that he's killing. But maybe it's because he blames that, well, his brother's death probably really did lead to him having to go live with an adopted family. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. John. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Hmm. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. Something else. There's gotta be something else. Look, 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 look. Look at all of these. Has she been Did making these Did you make these these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? We're so close. My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. How does she keep... How does she fully forget her other son? Is there something in the bathroom? Hmm... Any zits to pop? No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> All right. No point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. What if I brought her orchids? The orchids that were in the hall, what if I brought them to her? Can I come back, though? That's the thing, All Zach. right. No point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Let me see if there's anything else I can do. I think I need to bring her the orchids to learn. Because this is what? This is what? This is me sitting with her. No, no, I have to go get those orchids in the hallway and bring them. And that will get the final piece because the dogs might be tied to both of the boys, but the orchids, that has got to be something between just her and her second boy. Cannot be a coincidence. We saw them in the hallway too. And the fact that we said you never get flowers. All right, no point in wasting my time. Oh, I won't learn me. anything more by staying here. Swish? Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Hmm, son. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Something caused him to also official papers? 
visits. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. Hmm. Huh. Something caused her to completely just forget about her second son when she lost John. I think, like, her memory's not allowing her to remember. It's like she closed it off. And then that's why maybe he got adopted, was the memory of seeing him always made her think of her other son that died. 40. Oh, there we go. But then the adopted son must not know... I mean, to be 10 years old and not remember your mom's name, isn't that a little... Do you think this was all to get his mother's attention? Or was him leaving the orchids and the origamis all just to... to sh I mean, obviously, it, well, maybe he knows that she has Alzheimer's. But part of it, too, might be as kind of like a... I was given up by my, my family and this is what I'm going to do. Like, it's not meant to honor. I think it's meant to disrespect her. Because they gave up on him. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? It wasn't her choice. Family's name. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. It's always him serial killers and their parent issues. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. Please tell me it's not name? Ethan. Come closer. I don't like this. Seriously? It's not Ethan's name. It can't be Ethan's name. Oh, geriatrics ward. That's what it was. I couldn't see geriatric. Oh! It can't be. It can't be. The last letters. 961 Rainbow Lane. It can't be. Wow. Atmospherically, this is so cool. The last origami figure. The last trial. Look at the contrast with the red halls to the white room. This can't be. Wait, so this is, so all of, wait, okay, so I do want to go back to you because I feel like there's the one piece that I'm not following along with is which kid, I'm assuming Sean is the one that the rich guy's son kidnapped and now he's just playing these tricks on this guy? But then who took all the other kids? Because I just want to make sure we're very clear that the only... I thought the... Wait. Not all of them were killed by the rich son's... The rich guy's son. He just wanted to be like the origami killer. So he took the latest... Oh, my gosh. Oh! The last origami figure. The last trial. What in the world... There's so many cameras. The mirrors. The last trial. The last question. 
Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Uh, um... <laughs> on one hand... Hold on. Thought. Save Sean. And die. Christ. He loses his father. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. Cameras. The cameras. He must be watching me. We're me poison, poison solution. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. <sighs> Lie? He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as I drink this, and then no one can save Sean. My thing is, there's two clear paths ahead of me. The first three we did, we did exactly what he wanted from us. The fourth one, where I was supposed to kill a guy that had two daughters, I refused to, and the game continued on as if I had done that. He's talking about getting the last letters, but I already am incomplete because I didn't get letters from the last trial. So I feel like by refusing the last trial, I proved that I didn't have to do any of these all along to save Sean or not. And there's two other people that understand who it is as well. If I take this, I don't know the probabilities that somebody can save me before I die from the poison. But if I don't take this, Sean could die. And then I'll live with that guilt again. But Sean has lost his brother, and now they're asking Sean to lose his father as well? I am so willing to put my life on the line for my son. But I also feel like it's um I feel like it's almost selfish too because then I'm leaving him with nothing except for his mother. And I feel like whoever this killer is like wants us to just get pushed to the absolute limit and I feel like this is not the right move. Just I'm leaning more towards walking out that door, throwing my middle finger up and finding Sean on my own or 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 trusting in the PI or trusting in the other guy and I just can't guarantee that the solution is out there. <sighs> in so many games, I would take it without even hesitating, right? I feel like in so many other things, I would take it without hesitating, but I'm hesitating in this because Sean has already lost so much and I just want to call his bluff as well. Like, a part of me just wants to call, like, call his bluff. Now my nose is running because I'm getting stressed out by this. Oh, no. I'm going to walk out. I'm going to walk out. I... I just want you guys to know exactly where my head's at. Because the fourth one we walked away from without killing that guy and the story progressed... I believe that we can get away with this. Like, I think we can do this without having to take our own life. I really do. And I'm going to put trust in Madison and all the other people. And also, if this does end up being Ethan, like, like, let's just say, if this really does end up being ourselves, then we evaded ourselves. I'm walking away. Refuse. Kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous. I'll find some other way. I'm sure I can save him. I will find another way. Am I willing to die to save my son? That's not it. It's not a question of... Also, I love this white herringbone floor. Um, it's not a question of whether or not I'm willing to die for my son. I absolutely am 100% willing to die for my son. But not like this. Does that make sense? Like, not... Nothing to lose. I've come too far to stop now. I don't believe that. We can stop. 
I'm leaving. This might be the stupidest decision of my life and Sean might die because of this. But I'm leaving. Oh, wait, what? Wait! No. Oh, okay. It's just not... Yeah. Just like I wouldn't let it make a killer out of me. I'll find you, Sean. A killer out of me, I will. I'll figure out a way and I'll come and get you, son. Mm-hmm. I will find this. Also, this is so goofy because the chip is always near the scene. So why don't I just like rifle through the scene, you know? I should have just rifled all through the scene and tried to find the chip. I'm gonna get so much. I know you guys are gonna make so much crap for not sacrificing myself for my son. I know it's I'm nowhere and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address. Come on. There's gotta be a way to do this. There is. The man has continued. Turn the it off, turn it off. Still looking for Ethan Mars. The man identified turn it off. Alright, let's look through our stuff again. There is something here. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. Maybe I can lean on something about Roosevelt. 852 Theodore Roosevelt. Multiple areas. Let me check my phone. What's this ship from? That's a train. The train. That's a train. That's a train. See which ones intersect with the railroad. How can I tell where a railroad is? On a map like this, there's no freaking way to tell. Can I zoom in? Can I zoom in? I know it's a railroad. Hold on, let me see. Surely he helps confirm it for us. Tracks. Let me keep listening until I put it down. So he actually talks about it. Because I don't think we'll be able to identify where there's a train, but... Surely I'm going to respond to it. It's getting louder. I'm going to hold it for like one more duration. Come on, Ethan, you know that's a train, so say it and tell me where it cross... Where does it cross with? I just... Or is it a boat? Is it a ferry? Does it have to be this one because it's a ferry? That's a train, right? Or is that a boat horn? I think it might be a boat horn. Okay. No, no, no I don't need to listen to this again. I can put it down. I can put it down. I feel like I hear seagulls. I feel like that's not... I feel like it's not a train. I know this is wild, but I really feel like... I feel like that's a boat. And look, you can't even see train tracks on this map to begin with. I, I, I think it's this one. Park, road, lane. Lane could definitely be a thing too. I don't think it's park with a P-A-R-C. Road, Franklin Road. I think that's a boat horn. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. <laughs> Let's hear it one more time. Oh, shoot. I think I hear birds. Let me hear it again. There's birds. That is not a train. 
That's not a train. This is it. Let me look at it one more time. Yeah. That sounds like a boat horn. I think. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. I wonder if it would have been better if I had gotten the numbers from number four. Like, I should have just killed that other guy. Right, here we go. We've only got a few right, more hours left to inches. save Sean Mars. There has Sean to be a Mars. goddamn clue somewhere. Yes, there is. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! I'm relying on the fact that I think I heard seagulls. <laughs> you can do it. This is the last person who needs to figure out who it is. All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking what? about? The investigation's over. What? We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. Oh my gosh, what so you can ride your do? files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was going to miss you. <laughs> The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on mm -hmm. Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. I just want to sock him in the mouth. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. I will say he's one of the best BAs, I think, in the game. As much as it pains me to say that. Norman. Don't take it. Don't take it. Oh, all right. I have to get this together. I need to do one more. Just one more scan through the files. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Let's get this. Oh, my favorite oh, one. One last. Sons thing, of the Forest. Sir. You should be careful not to overindulge uh, in you know what. Uh-huh. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. sir. That part of it's kind of weird. Close ARI. Clues. Let's get this. We know it's here. We picked up some things that can help. What's new? There's got to be new evidence. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Yeah. Uh, analyze. Mm. Oh. Huh. Play again. I gotta rewind, seriously? We have this kind of technology and have to rewind? Mm. He's choking us out. Okay, play it again. I know I can analyze it too. He's choking us out. I'm wondering if it's like, is he left-handed? No, I think he's right-handed. Oh, that part. Oh. In Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. We have to analyze certain parts of it. So we need to rewind. Hmm. Rewind, not the sword, but something else. Ignore the sword, go to where he's choking us. And hold on here. Analyze. Oh. 
Analyze it. Oh, no. Analyze it. I'm messing up here. Okay, analyze. The watch. I didn't see. He's a cop. He's a cop. He's a cop. That's the standard watch that they give everybody who retires. Who retires? What cop has retired? Not, it couldn't be anybody who, who is retired already. 40, 20 years on the job, that, that makes sense, 20 years in service, yeah. But who? The only person we know who's gotten out has been the PI, but that doesn't make sense. Analysis impossible. Go to different, go to different stuff. I would recognize that anywhere. We know that tire tracks aren't it. The orchid we've already seen before. The origami we've seen before. Two receipts from the same gas station. Here we go. Gas station receipts. Might be near the killer's home. Standard paper, no identification. Ugh. That doesn't get us anywhere. There's got to be something else about it. We can geo analyze. Yeah. The killer lives in this zone. Five. 42 people live around there. Shh. Not good enough. Got to find a means like of identifying the... the killer more precisely. I think I picked the wrong area. I think it is the park with P O P A R C. Other people that live around there. We can't analyze it. I'm just double checking. I know. We have enough time in here, like, we're not on a time crunch with this specific thing. Alright, go ahead and clear everything, and let's go ahead and pull out files. Alright. Nope. Bad. Let's go files next. Origami killer, origami victims. I don't know if anything would be new with this. Go ahead and... Hmm. Open. Analyze. Origami killer victims. Again, we've seen that. Go ahead and switch it to the other thing. Go ahead and switch it to the... I got it. Thank you. Switch over to the killer himself. There we go. Let's geo-analyze. I don't think you can cross-reference anything. Yeah. All right. We can't do anything for data for that. Analyze? Is there anything new? It's got to be that watch. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, So that and does rule out the asshole An organized cop. type. He has a car. <laughs> employed. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. A detective or a cop of some sort could technically have that. All right, that means we need to go back to clues. And I just have to get a better view of that watch because the watch is definitely... So the gas receipts, we've done everything we can. It can't do anything. Um, do you analyze? Nope. We know it's not the orchid. We need to go back to the video. I know it's getting stormy in here. Oh my gosh, the storm is picking up. We have to do this right now. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to miss it. I thought I wasn't on a time crunch, but I might be. I know that I had it right, though. Stop. Analyze. Stop. Pause. How do I pause it? <laughs> this is such a goofy thing. Okay. Rewind. Forward. Play. Analyze. So let's play. And then cause him to analyze. Pause. Analyze. How come we can't identify- Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. There we go. Yep. For- It's a promotion present. It's not a retirement present. It's a promotion present. Is it Perry? Could it be Perry? Larry's. 
Larry, we don't even know Larry. It has to be somebody that we've seen at the... Is it Perry? Perry's too old to be the brother, though. The watch though. they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. I gotta get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just got a question mark now. Hold on. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. No. That would explain the dead end investigation no. and his desire to frame Ooh. Ethan Mars. I mean, yes, but no. We everything about our. I mean, I I, I investigate further. Investigate further because I do not believe. Yeah, I, it can't be. It can't be him because he's not level headed. Like he's too quick to. But he's the age, and the only other cop that we know would be Perry, and Perry's too old. Do you analyze? There's only one cop in that geo-profiling zone. Gotcha. Who? Who is it? He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. I think I got it right. I think I got it right. <sighs> but which cop? What cop could it have been? I'm going. Peace out, sucker. You're not smart enough to be the killer. Boom. <laughs> Roasted. We're out. Are he you sure it's the right car? At the docks. Call the SWAT team. Oh, and I'll need a chopper. Today? Of course I'll need it today, you fucking imbecile. <laughs> Confirms it's not him. Like, he does not have the level-headedness to... Sean. Sean? Oh no, not Sean. <gasps> the other brother. Hang on, John. Uh, I'll get help. Just okay, hang I was on. wondering. Come on, hurry. <laughs> I think the water's rising. I'm <laughs> hurrying. I'll be right back. I was wondering why we never finished that scene. My dad wouldn't help, would he? Mom's work is too far away. I'd never make it in time. It's gotta be dad. It has to be dad. Dad, I've gotta get dad. He's the only one who can save John. You need to Gotta sprint, move. boy. Sprint. Need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. Hold on, bro. I'll find someone. Then we'll come back and save you. The dad's gonna say no. <gasps> it could be Perry. Because it could be the dad. That is the origami killer because he lives with regret for the rest of his life because he probably turned him away thinking he wasn't serious and his son died because of it. Therefore, it could be Perry. Wait, or Larry, whoever the whoever the douche canoe cop is. The only we only know two cops, of course. And we never got a good look at the dad during the flashback. It was never the brother. It was never the brother. I think. I don't know. No, that's Dad, probably. Dad, it's John. He, he fell into a pond. Oh, He's get coming. out of here, you little pest. Leave me alone. Come, come, Dad. Come on. John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go away. I think. Dad, I don't know. I'm begging you. Maybe. John's I don't know. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, what did I Dad. Tell ya? Scrap. <laughs> please, please, Dad. You've got to save John. I don't know though, because he's a little bit old, don't you think, to completely I turn tried, around John. and become I a really cop and then become the the chief come. of police too, or please whatever it is. Please don't die, John. Please. <laughs> don't. Don't forget about this guy. Scotty. Scott. Scott? But how? I'm investigating it. Wait, what? <sighs> they even dress the young kid kind of like him as an adult. Scotty?
but I'm investigating it. Butterfly matches? Wait, so... Am I the origami killer, but then somebody started... No, no, uh, then so... Then somebody started copying my kills? And so I was looking for the person copying me? The box. What? The Polaroids. Look at the Polaroid camera. I was investigating it to make sure nobody had leads on me. I never saw I was erasing any evidence, but what? There's still missing pieces. There's more to be explained. Alan Winter. I have the typewriter. The typewriter was literally sitting in front of me the whole time. That's the same type of typewriter, isn't it? Wait, where did the- didn't you guys see a typewriter? Am I crazy? It was in that shot. It's big enough, the stature, you know? Like, he was a tall man. And the books. It's why he was never so good at investigating himself. That's why Lauren was- <sighs> My mother. Were the signs there all along? All along. you instantly disregard the fact that one of your protagonists could be it, especially when you are being a PI. But you became... But... And as if that honors your dead brother. As if... I'm... I'm crushed that I was so off about that. But it still doesn't explain why. It still doesn't explain how I always woke up with an origami piece. Oh no, Madison, don't do it. Oh, Madison. Oh my gosh, everybody. Y'all. My emotions. Let's hope he's not home. Fear. Careful. The killer might be here. I better be careful. Police. I should have informed the police. But I have no proof. Just the statement of an old woman who's lost her memory. He's in there. This is not, not good. Well, I feel a little less bad about killing Lauren because he was the killer all along, so it, it sounds about right, you know? 
Another victim drowned. There you go. Oh, that's creepy. I saw the window. It just was like, look, it's so finicky. Like. No, no, we should most certainly not go out there. We should just try re-knocking. Oh, she can pick locks too. What can't this journalist do? Interesting. I'm gonna have to do it on mouse and keyboard, that sucks. E. Q. Then we're going up. Up. And then we're going over. And now we're going swoop, swoop, swoop. Yeah, I lost your touch, girl. That's going to be really hard to fight this guy. Do I still have my gun on me? The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Oh my gosh, Better fast. Fast, he could come back any time. Bathroom, 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 bathroom. What is in here? What's in here? Why is there all this stuff? Why can we go in here? That's weird. Glasses? Why am I looking in his kitchen? I know you guys are asking me the same thing and I, great question, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I just wanted a snack. All right, we're ignoring that. We're going over here. Here, look at the cop stuff. Nothing there. Oh, wait. The... Mm, ah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. The controls. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children, why children went, with went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Oh my gosh. No. <gasps> a false door. Always trust a cop. I told you it would be somebody who was trusting. I thought it was a woman, but yeah, a cop would work too. You're told to trust. Yeah. Wow. That was actually really lucky to find the secret thing right away. Orchids. The killer's lair. <gasps> this is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Mm. We need to start taking pictures, and we also need to get the heck out of here. Sean he Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. And watched me come. Some kind of a well. <sighs> Shit. Password. Needs a password. 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 Um. John Orchid Rain Origami. John. John's B. It's too easy. Incorrect password. Origami. Okay, leave it alone, leave it alone. We'll come back, we'll come back. No, no, no! I'm gonna get smacked, I'm gonna get kicked out. Wait, let me get up real quick. I'll check, I'll check, I'll check. Otherwise they'll know. Wait. My gosh. It's like, how? I find this whole thing to be so annoying. Just the movement, the movement part. The game itself is incredible. A mouse. And a lizard. All of the same ones that we saw him deal with. Look down. There you go. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. We need to find something that would be his password. Something that would be his password. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. He's got to be out there to kill Ethan or something. Something. There's something here that will give us a clue as to what would be his password. Uh, Black Mortons. We've got liquor. We've got what else? Um, inhaler. We can use that to our advantage as well, possibly. Possibly. Anything that would give us a password. Anything. Ooh. 
place notes. Okay, I probably shouldn't have just thrown it back. I probably should have actually considered about trying to make it look like somebody hadn't been in here, although at this point I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, we need to be qu- Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Bedside tables. A book. Stupid. Stupid. Uh, drawers. Picture of him as a cop. He used to be a cop. We already know that. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. <laughs> but that doesn't help us with maybe his uh maybe his partner's name is the password. All the same shirt tops. Okay. Mm, the bathroom. Also, what the heck is this for? Does this have a trapdoor too? Oh no, I think it's just showing you that the other one does. Cause you knock on this and there's nothing there. That's solid, yeah. That's not it. All right, get out, get out, get out, get out. We need to think of a password, think of a password. Um, let's just pop in here real quick, just in case. Not the time to pee, girl. Not the time to pee. Um, uh, let's just open this because we can. <laughs> just stare at it, stop. Oh gosh. You just make the tiniest movement and it ends up launching you across, oh my gosh. Oh my, look over there. <laughs> this is comical. I, I don't think I can. <laughs> All right, F it. Oh my gosh. There we go. What is that? This stupid gnat. Okay, let's leave. I should have known the bathroom wouldn't be it. I also feel like we've been here too long. This bedside table. More inhalers. I'm in the right place. I just don't have the right password and then we can get out. Get out of his bedroom. Right here. Let's just try here. And then, yeah, I'm thinking his partner's name. I'm thinking partner's name. I think I can leave at any point too. That was really dramatic. It's funny how you can't investigate that at all. Okay, let's go back in here and try this password one more time. Maybe there was something I could... Uh. Maybe it's Orchid? Maybe it's, um... Orchid Rain. Rain? That seems too easy. These passwords are too short. I'm locked out. <gasps> So you found my little secret. Oh, it's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! Oh. You don't understand. It was never about the kids. It was never about the kids. It was about finding a father that could save their child. Of course. <gasps> There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. I'm gonna die. Madison's gonna die. Get in there. That's fine. That's fine. She's just still least alive. Except that, uh, unless he's trying to do something. Wall? Hmm. We know that there's another, uh, we know that there's another closet. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can find something to break it. And perhaps we can... Uh to no avail. Right, um, something, something to smash with. Pull it out. Nope, behind us. All right, let me use this. Really? To smash this? Okay. Okay, other side. I wonder if he's leaving or if he's still in the apartment. I feel like we should have waited. What is it? Nice. Thank goodness for just having pretty much cardboard walls in America. Artigo. The bathroom. Great. I broke through tile with that thing? Seriously? I need to get out. Go, 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 go. Shoot. 
I don't like this because he's still going to be in here. Is there anything for me to use as a weapon? Anything to use as a weapon? Anything. Okay, wait, hold on. What for? Wet clothes will give me a better chance of surviving. Oh, so that he can't grab onto me or something? Okay, before I head out there. <coughs> I didn't know he lit the apartment on fire. Mm. I didn't realize he lit the apartment on fire. I mean, I kind of figured why that's why he threw us in there, but at the same time, yeah. right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Get her out, get her out, get her out, get her out, get her out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I would be on, I would, I would just be done. Yeah. I'd be so done. You, you, she should have wrapped her jacket around her mouth and her nose or something. Oh, oh. shit. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. It's way too high. Uh, something, something. I, I gotta find something else. Mm -hmm. Don't jump. Okay. Okay, that, that chance is gone. I couldn't jump. I would, I would hurt myself too madly. Let's go. Let's keep going. It might be... The flames might be worse in here. She's gonna die. The gas tank? Okay, she would be gone. Let's let's be honest here, guys. Let's be let's be honest. Get off of me, get off of me, get off of me. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I'm gonna roast to death, guys. I'm roasty toasting to death. I can't get out this way. There's no way I can get out this way. Come on, come on, come on. We have to get to the front door. We have to get to the front door. Also, I'm sure somebody's called the fire department already, right? We have to do something with that. B? This is it. If I don't get this, I'm gonna die. Let go. Let me out. Kick it down. Kick it down. Wait, I remember. Okay, I remember. I remember the kitchen. The kitchen. I mean, I don't think that's gonna work, but... Can I turn to the kitchen? I can't go to the kitchen. I have to do this. The kitchen window's right by there. Don't get down and cry. Go to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. Stop moving that way. Controller, I swan me buff. Okay, this is good. Close the door. Close the door. The gas is gonna blow. Um, um, um... What are you doing? What are you doing? Is she trying to survive the blast? <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to do? Oh my gosh. Move this way, move towards the window. The window, the window, the window, the window, the window, the window, the window. Oh, sh shoot. Come on. Come on. I maybe could get in the fridge, but I feel like that only worked in Indiana Jones, and that was surviving a nuke. I'm not sure about a fire blast, but... All right, the other side, the other side. You got this, girl. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. The pressure, the pressure. You gotta get out of here. Run! What about the other people in this building? Oh! All the evidence. Jeremy's sex shop. What? And that is why, check your surroundings, because if we had not looked at the window, probably wouldn't have seen that there was a connecting window in the kitchen. I probably wouldn't have seen that. And also, I think I got it right. I think I did. At least I think Sean's going to stay alive and I will stay alive. And I think we'll 
get out of this there will be copious amounts of therapy that we'll both have to go through but i think it'll be um i think it'll be all right oh sean oh my goodness right 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 it's the final countdown okay all right real quick before this final part let me run to the bathroom one more time Let's hope I got this right. It's gotta be somewhere around here. It would be outside, somewhere where it could collect rainwater, right? Right there! Sean! Right there! Sean! Jason! Sean! Sean! That's gotta be him. Somewhere where nobody would see where it, I think I see his head. Do I see his little head? I've been looking for a long, long time, Ethan. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself. But I didn't. In order to save his son. I didn't choose to, though. <laughs> Oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then, I remembered you. He worked on our case. He was a cop at the time. No, he wasn't. He was just a bystander. All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son? Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered. Just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. But he's dead. No. Oh. Oh my gosh. But it's locked. Sean. Okay, I lost a fingy and I did not have to lose a fingy, but I did. Sean. I need something, the gun. To the gun fall. Yes, this. Pry it open, pry it open, pry it open. Sean, I'm right here. Sean. Come on. Come on. Shouldn't I go, like, in the thing first? Nice! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, Sean. He's gonna have pneumonia. He's gonna... He's been just floating there for how long? I should have given him a sick medicine. Maybe because I never gave him sick medicine, he's gonna die. All right, we're switching POVs. This is changing up his MO. It was always about train tracks, I thought. <gasps> Jaden! Jaden, come on. We've... We've tussled with him before. We can do this again! Yes. Money shot. Also, maybe now that Madison's free, she'll be able to come help us too? Oh. Jaden! I hate these scenes because it all comes down to how good are you reacting to QTEs. It's all that. That's all that matters. At this point in the game, my choices are done. It's just about saving the characters. Oh 
Punch him around. Punch him around. Oh! Thumbs don't betray me. No, 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 I need to remember the asthma when we're fighting that guy, by the way. When we're fighting... Don't leave me. Shelby. Please. Shelby. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> he has to still be alive. <coughs> oh, 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 Sean. Oh, oh, I thought you were gone. Oh. Dad. I knew you'd come and save me. Oh. oh. oh I don't have time to I don't have time to cry. Oh. I knew you'd come and save me. Oh. Okay, my thumbs are not feeling good right now, guys. I'm using all the leverage I can. Will not let Shelby win. Killed Lauren. Or what was her name? Lauren. No, Shelby. Um. Woo! That's not good. Oh. 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 Throw it at him. Shoot. Shoot. Oh. Oh. <gasps> yes. Yes. Stomp on his fingies. Save me. Please. Save me. He's going to prison for what he's done. That's no justice. That's no justice. I can, I can, yeah, I can, I believe in myself. I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. I saved him because he deserves to go behind prison for a long, long time. Not to get the Michael Myers treatment. I am trying with everything in my thumb. The bars, the bars gonna save me, the bar. Oh. Oh, well. Never mind. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried to do the right thing. I did. Jaden. Jaden. That's messed up. He deserves to be behind bars. Not... Like, that's too quick of a death for him. Is it possible to fall right between them? No, no, okay, silly, stupid. <laughs> Stu stupid, stupid, stupid. <sighs> oh. Sean. I, and all it took was one finger. You know, it's, it's actually, okay, I think I can finally, like, rest easy. <sighs>
general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one mm. point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Oh. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former 48. police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Oh, he just claimed to. He wasn't Shelby really. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. That's wild that part of the problem is one of the people you play. Like, you play as him. That is such a twisted way to go about that. Oh, her old apartment. Madison's. Right? Let's no. just say no, a no, friend no. of a friend let me jump in line. It's an architect like office. It, it's ours. <gasps> oh. <gasps> and he's with her. <laughs> I love the green cabinets actually hey, with the Dad, brick. I think I found my room. It actually looks a lot like her loft. Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. <laughs> we'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. Mm. No, he's definitely gonna need some therapy for that, We've but... We've <laughs> earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. But I do believe they've earned the all right. All three of us. Oh! Let's talk tonight. I love... Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Me? Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as oh, the no. Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Tell me this is Norman not the douche. Jayden. No, okay, yeah. Norman. Okay, Norman. Norman. And Norman got a happy ending too. Not that he needed the credit. He wasn't doing it because he needed or wanted the credit. All right, I don't like the ominous music. Oh, because he's still an addict. Hmm. Good for him. Maybe because I fought it. I'm assuming in that part, you could either give into it or you could fight it. Yeah. <laughs> I might have not guessed it, but I feel like I got a lot of good outcomes for the characters, save for Lauren, but. Okay, we're back in our office at headquarters, maybe. Classified. Is he playing a game right now? Wait, what? Classified. Wait, what? Oh no! Um, I thought I, I think I got a bad ending for Norman. I don't know. That had to have been a bad ending for him. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, and Shepard. I think 
it is often like I guess I overlooked the cardinal role. I do feel like a lot of serial killers, it it all comes down to that nurture that they had when they were a kid. Nurture and nature is questioned a lot in that, but I do feel like nurture plays a big part in it. I mean, you look at a lot of serial killers over time, and you go back, and they had pretty bad relationships, or like twisted relationships with their father or their mother or whatever it was. Scott Shelby. Tell me somebody's not gonna lay flowers by his grave. What's the symbol on there for? There's another piece of origami down by it, or? I wonder if there is an outcome where he can go behind bars. Maybe that's why they're showing the gravestone. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. That's it! Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't choose that as the outcome! What? That's it! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's what can happen to you if she gets stabbed right there, I think? Oh no. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, hold on one second. I'm gonna let that just play in the background while we kind of talk about this, and I'm gonna lower the volume pretty significantly. Um. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I wanna look at stats. Oh, the poor shrink. I was so, I was so obsessed thinking that it was the shrink. And I think like the only reason why I did for so long is because something about him just seemed suspicious. Like, I think it was, it was just cause at the time I was looking for somebody who wasn't one of the main characters. And I was just trying to find somebody that maybe made sense. And the fact that he was shot, well, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, they never did explain why I kept blacking out and waking up with origami pieces, right? They never explained that. But let me know down in the comments below if I just missed it and they did explain it. But... Or, okay, are we to assume that maybe because he knew we would black out, the origami killer would run into us and give us, like, the origami in our hands? I just... that part's still confusing me. I did like Madison, and that was really cool to see them have like a happy ending at the end there. Um, yeah, I was really happy with that. Looking at the credits right now, the sound was done so well. I mean, I think that clunkiness aside, and like I was getting extremely aggravated by, I was having to continuously switch between mouse and keyboard. I tried using a PlayStation controller. I tried using every tactic in this controller. Hold on, I wanna see this. Okay, it's just that music. It's just the dramatic music. I tried every way to make some of those easier for me to do, and it just wasn't happening. I don't know if you guys ran into that problem as well. Um, I actually have completed the game by the time you guys have even seen the first episode. So unfortunately, any like tips or not that this kind of game isn't one that you guys are going to give me like a lot of tips for. But if you guys did run into the problem with the controller, let me know, because um, I don't think that was just like a me thing. I heard that it had been like a little clunky, but once again, I didn't feel like it was too bad my only frustration was sometimes the movements and the animations were a little funky but overall a fantastic game it's cool too i've t I said it multiple times throughout the series but it really is incredible to see where quantic dream started and to then see well i started well obviously i started with their more recent one and then i think they've produced some other stuff since and then i also heard that they're working on a star wars one which i would be over the moon if they were doing a star wars one i think that is confirmed but um yeah to to start with the Troy become human and then go back to heavy rain it reminded me so much of one another and i'm guessing what it was and at least what i've heard like and i don't know anything about what beyond two souls is about but i have heard that beyond two souls took a little bit different of a direction and then when they went to detroit become human they kind of brought back a lot of the common themes because i think that's what did well but it's kind of funny because i do think more people speak fondly of beyond two souls this game and Detroit Become Human, they're both incredibly dark. I mean, they're serious tones, they're serious things going on. Detroit Become Human is very different in a lot of ways, but um, this one, right? Like you have a murder, you have, you have a serial killer of children happening. And that was like the only thing that I had a slight issue with in the game was just the disconnect with some of the emotional scenes. However, that actually might have made sense because the disconnect for me was a lot to do with the PI's, the PI's moments. 
So that had to maybe have been intentional that he lacked empathy. And that was part of him as a character because he ran into the woman committing suicide. He, oh, what was the other thing? Basically, when he was interacting with every other scene, he definitely showed stunted emotional intelligence. And he was definitely intelligent, there's no doubt, but I don't think he had that emotional level. And that was probably because he didn't feel any empathy for any of these parents. Like, he didn't care. He, he didn't even try to save Lauren on the way out. And I know that was probably because of our choices. Um, I'm sure there is a way to save her, but I don't know how that impacts the story as well. But yeah, I think overall, it, just like I said, the ending kind of felt a little rushed compared to the rest of the game. Like there was a lot of build up and I liked that. And then just some of the relationships, I think mainly the only relationship I felt was rushed was truly Ethan's and Madison's. It just felt all of a sudden out of nowhere. Now her being a journalist made complete sense. I think I was suspicious of her at the start of this. Looking back, I was so wrong. I think at the intro, I said Madison, potentially the shrink. And then one of the cops. I did say one of the cops, but I thought that was like the third possibility. But I thought it would have been somebody currently in the force. I think I had said back then that the watch thing was going to be significant because these type of games never like nothing's ever an accident. And I do remember thinking it was really like kind of interesting that you were able to specifically hone in on the watch. Now, I do think by Detroit Become Human, they had way more things that kind of distracted you from knowing what was a clue and what wasn't a clue. I felt like in this one, there were so few things to interact with that it was pretty easy to tell which things were going to be ones that did impact the story. But I think what truly amazes me about this is I, I just, I... I don't know what bias it is. I guess it's player bias. But because I was playing as Shelby at times, it never occurred to me that we could have been the serial killer ourselves. And that is what makes it so brilliant. Like, I think that's what makes me really enjoy this 10 times more than a normal story where we're actually trying to solve like who done it. Um, because they put you in place of the murder. Now, I did quickly, very, very quickly decide that Ethan was not the serial killer. There was just something about it that I, I didn't believe, despite them having these flashes. I also want to point out that the flashes were very convenient for the first half of the game, but then I felt like during the second half, once it became pretty clear that there was no killer, like the killer wasn't him, he just like stopped having those flashes. So... That kind of bothered me a little bit too. Like, I just think there were a decent amount of inconsistencies or maybe there were still some um, plot holes, but overall, fantastic. Like, absolutely fantastic. Quantic Dream would like to thank you. Aww. Um, yeah, I, I think Quantic Dream has quickly become one of my favorite. Aww, to Quentin and oh, in memory of somebody as well. Somebody... Oh, I really do believe that Quantic Dream has such a beautiful way of storytelling and um, inclusion and also just it's it's difficult to tell hard stories of life or lessons of life without seeming like overbearing or seeming too difficult to want to work through because this is a heavy story but it still felt very manageable it's still they did like such a great job at making you hold on and turn it up a little bit they did such a great job at like making you continually want to like find out what's next and like i said as the player i felt incredibly invested not only in the story but in all of theirs like i think i i ended up really enjoying every single person's um part but hold on i know we have extras what extras Achievements, bonuses, bonus. Oh, cool concept art. Casting, the making of virtual actors. That's cool. Maybe I'll have to do like a little thing where we go through all of this. Actually, it'd be kind of cool to react to all of this stuff. It probably won't be in this video, but maybe I'll try to do like a, oops. Um, Maybe I'll try to do like a little thing. Don't quote me on that, but I'll see what, I'll see what could happen. Happy birthday. Complete the drawing and set the table and play with kids. Okay. Um, thank you for supporting interactive drama. White knight. Sleazy place. Beat Troy. I was a white knight. Uh, lead Lauren to talk about her son. Leave without being spotted by the journalist. Nice. Lucky locker. Find the correct locker on the first try. Huh. 
<laughs> Self-control. Do not shoot Nathaniel. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Good driver, the bear. Complete the bear trial successfully. I did. Cat and mouse. Beat Corda in the cold storage. Yes. Beat Gordy's bodyguards. I did crush that scene. Electrified. I completed the butterfly trial. So I want to know what happens if you take the vial. I want to know if you actually die or it was a placebo. Stop Blake from hitting Dupree. Hands up. Get arrested by Blake. <laughs> I did. I didn't mean to. Switch the camera off in the surveillance room before saving Ethan. Yep. Do not kill the drug dealer. I did not. Do not drink the doc's beverage. Did not. Smart girl. Um, goodbye, Mad Jack. Survive the fights against Mad Jack. I wonder what are some of the parts that most people die to as the main characters. Because I'm assuming every single character is possible of killing off except for Shelby. There's no way that you could kill off Shelby, right? Prepare a good omelet on time. <laughs> Eureka. Take off no more than one item of clothing during the striptease. What? <laughs> Pride saved? Lover boy. Forgive Madison. I did. I did. Mostly because I wanted a happy ending for him. Escape the police at the motel and invincible Scott. And then kind hearted. Give Kramer his medicine. I did. Uh, work out where Sean is held. Yeah, that was, yeah, I felt like I did a good job with that. Save the origami killer before he falls with Jaden or Madison. Wait, what? Madison can be there? Oh, maybe if she breaks in with the correct password, she finds out and then she can go stop him? Because then she would see where he's being held. And then maybe she's the one to stop him. Finish heavy rain. Save Sean. Woo! That's the biggest part that I want to hone in on. We saved Sean. Well, guys, I have so many thoughts, so, so many thoughts, but yeah, I've got to say absolutely a fantastic suggestion. This has been an absolute honor to play. I just want to say big thanks to every, like all the, just the whole team at Quantic Dream for creating such um, interactive stories that just takes you to a level beyond just gaming, like just playing a game it feels like you're a part of the game and that is truly a special feeling to be able to give to players so um huge huge thank you to them and just guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this um as always please comment down below what were some of your choices what did you expect my outcome to be i did not guess shelby and that's fine i do think that there were a lot of things i was thinking about like i was thinking about like this has to be somebody who the kids would trust and so i didn't think about a cop but i did think about a mom um, and in the end, there was a little bit of a happy ending there for some of our characters. I don't know what the ending for um, Jaden meant, though. So please feel free to explain that down below. And until the next time, I will see you guys for heavy. We'll do Beyond Two Souls probably in the next upcoming months. I want you guys to know that I, I definitely would love to finish the rest of the Quantic Dream games. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be going straight into it because I never want to. I think a lot of it comes down to they do have heavy stories. Um, I mean, this one pulled up my heartstrings because of a lot of different reasons. And I think every single game will connect with people differently. I'm sure this game is actually pretty difficult to go through, especially if you're a parent yourself. Um, there's always going to be certain things that tie to your real life and in games and um I think especially the section with his mom with Alzheimer's, that was really hard um, for me specifically. But these games, they have a way of touching so many different topics that we run into in our everyday life. And so sometimes the way that I throw myself into a game, it can be all consuming and it can be a little difficult for me to go back to back with such emotional stories. So I won't be going straight into Beyond Two Souls. I just want to keep getting that across to you guys. Um, just because I know you guys are, are going to ask anyway. But I will be trying to go back there in the next couple months. And until then, I hope you guys enjoy the next couple games. I know I said I'm not throwing myself into another emotional game. But the next game we're going to be playing is I'm going back to the To The Moon series. And so we are going to be diving into Finding Paradise. I believe it's called. Yeah. Or Imposter Syndrome. It might be Imposter Syndrome. It's Finding Paradise or Imposter Syndrome. One of the one of the To The Moon games. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing next. And then also, 
I'm going to be diving back into the world of Resident Evil. So there's a lot of exciting things coming up on the channel. And as always, especially if you guys came from Final Fantasy 7, we've got that on the horizon. Just so many incredible playthroughs that I'm going to get the opportunity to do going into 2023. I think by the time you guys see this, it's going to be just after Christmas before the new year. And so I just want to say a big thank you for all of the support throughout this year. Um, and yeah, just thank you for everything. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, YouTube.